Welcome to the demonstration on configuring multiple VLANs on Ruckus ICX switches. So there are occasions where you might want to configure multiple VLANs with all the same settings. And if you had to configure them you know, individually one by one, it'd be a bit cumbersome. So if you're doing the same settings on multiple VLANs, uh, we do allow a multi-range VLAN configuration option. So you can apply all the same settings to all the same VLANs. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll get in configuration mode here. This is much like an interface where you can do uh, multi-interface commands or groups of interfaces or ranges of interfaces. Uh, we can do the same with VLAN. So let's take a look at that. So we'll do VLAN range of 21 to 40. So this will create 20 VLANs uh, all at once. And then we can apply similar settings to all of them. Now you can tell you're in multi-VLAN range uh, when you see the MVLAN here in the prompt. So it's MVLAN 21 with a hyphen to 40. I'll show you the importance of that hyphen in a minute when we run another command where we uh, do interfaces individually but as a group. So with this uh, command we can configure a lot of different things uh, most notably you can configure things like layer 2 redundancy protocols like spanning tree you can enable 8021w on all of the vlans at once you can tag a port in all 20 of these vlans at once so let's go ahead and do that real quick let's just uh we'll tag ethernet uh, 1 slash 2 slash 5 and you'll see that that port gets tagged in all 20 of these VLANs. So you get a message for each VLAN that this port gets tagged as a member of. So now you've completed the configuration that might have taken 20 steps in one step. Um, you can also get in here and, and enable spanning tree. So we can do spanning tree 802-1w and enable 8021w or rapid spanning tree. Uh, we can also go in and set priorities on all of these VLANs, or we could set a port type to you know, um, admin point to point, or something like that on a certain interface in all of these VLANs. So for example, our 125. One two five, and we can define this as an admin point-to-point -point, uh, MAC interface. And now this interface is known as a point-to-point -point interface on all of these VLANs, and Rapid Spanning Tree will, uh, you know, react a lot faster when port transitions change. So this is a range of VLANs, but we could also do something. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, you want to have two switches uh, that are both redundant uh, with a, you know, full redundancy configuration where you want all even numbered VLANs to be a higher priority on one switch and all odd numbered VLANs a higher priority on another switch. Well, you could do that here with a, a command as well. So we can get into VLAN 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And you'll see our prompt change. Uh, it's not a hyphen, it's now an asterisk. And it's uh, two, the, it gives you the first VLAN in that group and the last VLAN in that group. Uh, you don't want to fill the prompt with all of these different VLANs. So now we can configure these five VLANs uh, with a particular setting. Uh, again, for example, spanning tree priority of you know 4096 on this switch for all the even numbered VLANs. And then we could go to a neighboring switch and do it for all the odd numbered VLANs. And attempt to balance traffic by uh, making one of them the root bridge for each of these different VLANs. So that's the way we configure multiple VLANs on a Ruckus ICX switch. Uh, thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hopefully we'll be back to view more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.